Welcome to Sidecar Games. My name is Dustin, and today we are on episode two of our Hollow Knight playthrough. Last episode, we fought the first boss, started the game, fought the first boss. We're successful. Uh, I still have quite a bit of money left. Are there things that I should buy? These pins will mark benches and other rest points on your map. Useful if you're exhausted or just need to find somewhere to sit. I really like that. Update your map with new areas you explore. Okay, well that's necessary, I feel like. And that brings me down to no money, so now we gotta go out and make some money. I'm already excited. There's already points where I was... I was like, man, I want to go back and re-explore that area because I'm pretty sure I saw places. So we're spending just a, like a, just a smidgen of time doing that right now. I don't really need to kill these guys. They do give me money, which I like. Okay, I wanna I wanna give this other this crying dude one more shot. Cause I feel like that worm that I acquired has to do something. Oh, sweet! Alright, so I find these guys in the map and then I bring them back here. Or they just run away from me, go back here, and then this guy gives me money. I'm assuming there's got to be something cool other than money that he gives me eventually, but I do not know. We're talking a little bit in the comments about how the story is being uh, handled so far in the game. It's very different than what we've seen so far in our uh, Metroidvania series. Even Salt and Sanctuary, a game that I would consider not really that interested in the story gave us more story than this game does so far. But we do have a cutscene, which while I don't really recognize anything in it, not really sure what it meant, it does hint that there is going to be some story eventually. I wonder how detailed it's going to be, because we don't even know, uh, we don't even know what our name is. We're just a Mr. Bugman who... Apparently, just likes to murder people. Oh, there's another one up there. Can I even get there? I really have my doubts about this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm just not quite quick on the controls. Nope, that's not going to happen. It's not like Salt and Sanctuary where I can just spam my sword attack and eventually get there. Um, am I now moving into a place where I've been before? Let's look at Mr. Map here. Well, that is inter Oh, I gotta equip it, don't I? Oh, I can't equip it here. Oh, I made mistakes, people. Alright, need to get the timing on that down better. I now have enough money to buy the, the bench thing, which is good. I like how that guy just comes to me. Want to avoid falling rocks. The music is really good. There's no doubt about that. The opening the opening title screen really makes me feel like Final Fantasy X. I know it's not even close to the same melody, but that's just how I envision it in my head. Have we been here before? I really don't know. got to be an NPC in here somewhere. Looks like she's down there. Whoa, don't want to go on that yet. want to talk to this person. Hi there. Oh, bury my mother, pale and slight. Bury my father with his eyes shut tight. Bury my sister, two by two, and then you're done. Let's bury me too. Haha, <laughs> do you know this that one? It's one of my favorites. We can sing something else if you like. You start singing and I'll join in. I bet you 
have a beautiful singing voice. Ha ha ha. So what are you down here for? If you came to get wealthy, just look at around. Just look around. These mines are still bursting with riches. There's p -p -p plenty for everyone. Just grab a pick and join in. Ha 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 ha. Okay, well, that's creepy. Is this, does breaking that give me anything? Really doesn't seem like it. It looks cool, though. There's a lot of polish. So Aqua had said something about, oh, I made mistakes. I want to go down and I want to check this out. What is this? I don't know what this is. It seemed to give me health? I got nothing. Maybe that's just like an automatic heal area? I've never seen that before. But there's quite a bit of polish. I love the, uh, the animation. They animate things in the in the background, which I don't think Sultan Sanctuary did that. I know that uh, Axiom Vert had a few Axiom Vert had a few areas that did that. But nothing to this degree. Like they was had the beating hearts area. Can I force this to fall? There's somebody down there. I can't pass through this area. I wonder if I get a ground pound like Mario 64 eventually and then I can get into that area. Um, it also, the game also animates stuff in the, in the foreground, which I thought was interesting. We definitely haven't seen that before. I'd like to start heading back to town. I want to equip that quill thing so I can actually get credit for all this stuff. If you guys want to tell me what that, uh, that little shrine thing was that when I hit it, it gave me health, that would be sweet. Um, why not? What is this? Temple of the Black Egg. This is what we saw in the opening cinematic. Oh. And this is all this is here for. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Really curious about what happens there. So I'm curious how they're going to de develop the world. It seems like uh, most of the areas we passed through so far have all been kind of the, the same. Of course, we're only in the first area, so I would expect that to be true. Um, but I wonder how, how outside of their blue-black color scheme they go, or if it's just going to be these colors for the majority of the game. <sighs> Alright, so we wanted these pins marked that. If you've seen those beautiful cocoons, I made these pins so you can keep track of them. The beautiful blue cocoons. I don't know what that is. Use these pins to mark shopkeepers or any other interesting things. Um, stageways. Design this pins to keep track of the kingdom's hot springs. I want save points. That's more important to me, I think. Um, that took up the majority of my gold. Now I need to go equip this stuff. Oh, 
Oh, the quill up. Oh. The quill updates your map when you get back to the save point. I probably should have read that somewhere. I did not. All right. Well, back into the breach, old friends. Here we go. What was that city crest? We got a city crest. Uh... Seems like there's save points there. Looks like we can go out to the... Well, let's explore the rest of this area. It looks like there's just one more area to go to. Oh, goodness. Oh, come on. The jumping takes a little getting used to. Even, look at this. Look at the polish on this. When you jump on a platform, stuff falls off of it. That is so cool. It, it, just little things like that make it feel like it has more weight. And weight is really important in the game. Your character should always be grounded. No matter what. Oh, gosh. Like in this game, in Axie Virgin, in this game, you don't take fall damage at any point, right? But still, if I fall from a great height and hit the ground, there's still some reaction when that happens. So even though I'm not taking damage, it still feels like I just fell a great distance, not that I just... stepped off a curb. Okay, so it's one of these guys again. I don't remember him being too bad. As long as you dodge out of the way for that. See, even these fights can be made exciting. This is just a random mob in a game. And you can get through it without taking damage. Yeah, I love that. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Broke another one of you. Perfect. Man, he's got to feel kind of bad. He was, like, having dinner, sharpening his giant club collection. He's got a nice home here, and I just came in and murdered him in his sleep. And by sleep, I mean he wasn't asleep at all. I just want to say that because it sounds cool. Oh, yeah. It doesn't update until after. Okay. All right. It's not going to update until after I go back to a rest point. So we're going to head out this way. And now we can move on to the next area. I don't know what she has to do with anything. If I, like, help swing at this thing, will it break? No. Bury the knight with her broken nail. Bury the priest. Something about a crown. I can't remember the rest of that one. Maybe I'll just hum it. Okay. She's just happily working. I don't know why I'm calling her a she. She may not be a she. Sorry I assumed her gender. I don't know. Oh, this is where... Uh... Oh, I made I made poor choices. Okay, we, we remember this area. We remember that we cannot get past there. Sorry for wasting everyone's time. Moving on down. Alright, so where should we go? Looks like we can go... Oh, there's more. Oh, that's mean. There's a lot of empty... A lot of places I didn't check out. Okay, well, let's... I guess we're gonna do that now. Looks like there's one down here. Did I really not... What the... What the crap? Oh, I should have hit that switch when I was down there the first time. All right. All righty roo.
You just jump over me. That's not that hard to avoid. This is the area that I was in that I realized that I couldn't get that bug because I don't have a double jump yet. We are collecting quite a bit of money. That'll be good to move on to new areas. Um, so it's to the left. This is where I want to go. Inspect. The Pilgrim's Way. Travelers of Hollowness descend through verdant wilds and fungal groves to the city of this kingdom's heart. There, all wishes shall be granted, all truths revealed. Oh, so that's the idea. Are we trying to get a... a... Alright, little... Okay. I get you. I'm on board with this. Alright, I think that is a guy that I can't fight yet. Because I don't have an item that lets me fight him. That is an interesting way. That's a, that's a thing we haven't seen. We haven't seen a door blocked by an enemy. Oh no. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I can hit through the floor. That's interesting. Perfect. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Heal up, little guy. If they're not going to give us a name for this character, I think we need to name him ourselves. What do you think? I don't. I still don't know what these do. They just give me health stuff? Is that it? That's all they got? Oh. Well, this is another area that we can't pass through. We don't have a wall jump. But I'm glad to know that we're going to get a wall jump. That'll be fun. Okay. Man, the... um. The traversal abilities are seeming to be a lot like Salt and Sanctuary, which I like. I loved their, I loved how they handled that. I thought that was really cool. All right, so we've gone to those two areas. I think that was it for that part. Technically could have gone in and dropped in on the worm dude. I did rescue another one of his children, I'm assuming, but that's... I think this was a fast travel to the boss. If I'm not mistaken. Why is this... This sounds different. There is definitely something in there. It sounds very different from when I hit normal things. Have I gone up here before at all? I'm really beginning to believe that I have not. Because none of this looks familiar. It's a new area to enter. Let's do it. Okay, our map has been updated with all the areas that I couldn't get to. God, I love the map. The map is really good. All right, um, listen. Who is that creep? Uh, who is that creeping out of the darkness? My, you're looking grim. A strange, empty face and a wicked-looking weapon. Something important has drawn you down into Holonest's corpse. But I won't ask what. Perhaps the reason you found me is because you need my help. 
Say no more, friend. I'm going to give you a gift, a nasty little spell of my own creation. It's just perfect for a little one like you. Ho ho. We get spells. That looks super cool, too. Consume the Vengeful Spirit. Tap B to unleash the spirit. Spells will deplete soul. Replenish soul by striking enemies. Ooh. Did it just teleport me somewhere? Where the crap am I now? Oh, it's locking me in here. You've woken at last. I apologize. Perhaps I should have warned you about the power of that spell. I was watching over you as you slept. That's not creepy, but seems to have slipped away myself. Ho ho. Now you're awake. I was wondering whether you would be, well, you would do me a small favor, not as repayment for my gift, of course, simply because you, we're friends now. We're now friends. You see, a horrid great beast has made its home in the heart of this temple. Such disrespect. I would be quite grateful if you were to venture deeper in and slay it for me. It is a hardy creature, but with your new power, you're more than a match for it. Good luck with a small favor, my friend. I'm assuming this is that uh, hedgehoggy like guy that we already ran into. I think this is where it, it's supposed to teach us that we can destroy that thing with this new spell. What do you think? I think I'm right. I love that there's dungeons within the map. Like, you can't take the map at face value. There could be areas... ...within areas... ...here. That's super cool. Um... Yeah, they're definitely leading up to us fighting something larger. All these little versions of the bigger guy seem to um did I make a mistake oh my goodness that's how you use that good to know don't hold B just tap it and then you fire a Kamehameha of stuff that's more like a key blast but you know whatever can't believe a new Dragon Ball Z series is coming out. Gosh dang it. Why do you gotta be such a jerk? Alright, gotta get my Tommy down on those guys, clearly. Looks like I can go to the left or the right. I choose this way. Assuming that's there to give me magic so I can fight on. There's still a lot of more stuff to explore in here. Alright. Do I need to even fight these guys is my question. I think we're getting close. They're about to give us some health. Some temporary health faces, masks, whatever you want to call them. Wow, they give me quite a bit. Wow, they're giving me more magic now. We are all equipped. We are all ready to go. Looks like two is our current maximum. This is him. I see what's going on here. So, oh gosh, I need to get better at this. What? Oh man, that's messed up. Man, I'm getting messed up here, dude. Oh my goodness. 
All right, I should have just gone for that in the first place. What is this? Soul Catcher. All right, we're gonna have to go to a save point to figure out what that does. Glenn, on in, man. It's not that you made me do a quest for you as a friend that makes me uncomfortable. It's the fact that you locked me in your dungeon until I did that thing that you asked me to do that makes me uncomfortable. Ah, uh, caverns, rancid air, still. You did what you had to be done. You have my gratitude. Of course, we both know you wouldn't have made it through without the spell of mine. That is true. And look, the gate between us is opened. Ho ho, I'm sure you're eager to move on. Farewell and have faith. Whatever you are seeking, it will find you. Alrighty. Well, let's save here. Um... I'm definitely going to go back to that area uh, to get the whatever's past that one guy. Now that we have the ability to defeat him. Seems like he took four hits or something like that. I think we can manage that. Although that guy does not shoot out the little rolly guys. So I don't know how we're going to get more magic. That's interesting. Didn't think about that. Didn't consider that in my calculation. Combat still feels really good. Really interested to see where the story is going. Um, we're getting little tidbits, though, in the conversations with the characters. Like, really, really minor tidbits. But we're getting some. I wonder if that is the method in which we the story is told to us, or if uh, it's going to be a little more direct, like we saw in Axiom Verge. But I'm excited to keep going. So thank you guys so much for watching. Since we don't have a name, if you have any ideas for names, go ahead and throw those into the comments. I can't just keep calling him that dude. I mean, I could, but it's not really that creative. So I'll see you guys later. I'll see you on Monday with more Hollow Knight. I'll see you guys tomorrow with The World Is Not Enough. Thank you, guys.